Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you know, I'm Elizabeth Molina, your beauty guru. So today we're gonna continue talking about the beauty circle and I'm gonna get it, the beauty circle. I hope everyone has already downloaded. There's a free link um, down below where you can get this for free. You can print out as many as you want. You can do it with your kids, with your cousins, with your mom, with your dad, with your partner. It is just like a really cool tool. Anyways, so today's category is conscious eating. And when we're grading ourselves, and I wanna say grading ourselves, assessing ourselves, investigating ourselves, getting curious with ourselves, all these different words, right? Um, I'm asking you to really ask yourself, when you're eating, are you eating consciously? Are you thinking about what you're putting in your mouth? I believe, is it Dr. Mark Hyman says, uh, food is information. So think about that for a second. If we are thinking about what information we're giving our bodies, that is like insane, right? Like when we have a pizza, what information are we telling our body? Yeah, when we're having, I don't know. When we're having something that's just not good for us, um, what is that telling our bodies that we need to do with this information? Where is it going? Is it going for supporting our liver, our kidney, our skin, anti-aging, our hair? What is that really doing for us? So when we talk about conscious eating, I really want you to assess the stuff that you're eating. Are you eating unconsciously or consciously? I guarantee you that this is not something that many people think about all the time, even myself as it is a daily practice, sometimes I actually don't think about it. I just kind of like autopilot. So this is again a daily practice. That's why you fill out your circle and you think about on a daily basis, did you, I'm gonna sneeze. No, okay, good. Um, and if I knew how to edit, I would probably edit that out, but I don't and I, I'm okay with that for now until I start figuring it out. But conscious eating so when we are thinking about this breakfast did, are we are we giving our body nutrients are we giving it information like yes I want you to work I want you to have energy I want you to feel great I want you to be happy I want you to get all the minerals and vitamins that you need that we need as a body to be functioning at our like highest capacity and to be like happy while we're doing it and to just be in a great mood is that what we're giving our body for breakfast or are we saying, oh, let's just stuff you with sugar and starches so that you can be really have a sugar high and then be really sluggish, not be fully functioning, mess up your gut a little bit. I love to cause, you know, to cause ravic in your stomach and like just like, I don't know, destroy. Like, is that what we're giving our bodies for breakfast? So are we thinking, when I'm putting this in my mouth, is this good stuff that I'm putting? And when I mean good stuff, I don't, I don't mean like, oh, have like a really, I don't know, like a really not good tasting pizza, like a cauliflower pizza, and like don't judge me, like not all cauliflower pizzas are great. Some of them are, some of them aren't. So like not all super healthy, super healthy things are great, and then a lot of uh, unhealthy things are also not great, they don't taste good. So when you're doing this stuff, when you're eating this, are you putting in the good information or the bad information? And obviously, also when you're consciously thinking about these things, are you in a good mood when you're eating? Did you know that if you're eating food and you are not happy and you're not um, relaxed and you're not like in a calm environment, that you're actually not even digesting your food, it's just sitting there because your body goes into fight or flight. And when your body is in fight or flight, everything is shut down because it's ready to run for its dear life and like survive. So like your body's not digesting, your metabolism is going down, you're gaining weight, you're like unhappy, you become constipated. I mean, acne starts coming out, hair loss. I mean, I can go on, but I just want you to start thinking about these things to consciously eat. Are you eating in a rush? I mean, are you walking with your coffee and having your bagel and you're like rushing somewhere because you don't want to be late? Let me tell you something, if you do that, it's not gonna digest. It's not gonna 
be great for your body. But let's say you're having the same bagel with whatever you're drinking and you're having it with a friend and you're having a great time. You're consciously like happy, you're in a good mood, your body's like relaxed, you're able to digest correctly. So I also want you to know that um, having all these things are actually, they're great. Like if you're having pizza, you're having your bagels, you're having, I don't know, your chips. You, you can have everything in moderation, but also being aware of what you're having and why, and also the environment that you're doing it. Because you can also be eating the healthiest salad while you're running somewhere because you're, you're gonna be late and you don't want I know the attention on you or like oh I'm always late because I, I actually I'm always late um, and so it's like you're running rushing to have your salad or your smoothie let me tell you the same thing will happen you just wasted a lot of money on like really good ingredients and really great food with lots of minerals and your body was not able to digest it therefore your body was not able to get the minerals and nutrients that it needed and so you just threw it was might as well have I don't know fries or something and I Talking about healthy fries, I'm talking about like McDonald's fries or something. So, when we fill this out, I want us to think and to assess ourselves in our lives. What, where are we in this conscious eating? Are we eating good? I don't want to say good anymore because I hate that using saying something good or something is saying that something is good or saying that something is bad. I it's like it's a pet peeve of mine, but I seem to be doing it in this video a lot. Um, I'll work on that but are we eating the information that we want to feed our bodies right are we doing that or are we not are we just like mindlessly eating into like a default that we grew up in whether it's like in school you had cereal every day or your parents gave you like pop tarts for breakfast every day because like it was cool the commercials you wanted it they wanted to make you happy and you're just kind of defaulting by whatever is trendy on TV because that's a default so are we eating consciously? Like, do we know that we're putting in what our body needs? That's one. And also, what state are you eating in? Are you in a rush? Are you angry? Are you upset? Like, I have to tell you, if you're angry, if you're upset, if you're furious, if you are feeling unsafe, if you are um, have a lot of adrenaline going and you're just like uneasy, like your shoulders are tensing up, do not eat or try not to eat because like even you see animals in the wild or like even your dogs or cats like when they're not feeling good they just don't eat because they know it's instinctually that their system is shut down and they're not going to digest and their stomach is going to hurt but we have lost touch with that and um, it's something that we need to kind of start doing again we should not be eating in those states because our body is not digesting and that can cause leaky gut. It can cause so many things internally, but not just that, externally. And it's not about just one time, it's about it building up and it becomes a pattern. So, you know, you could do it every day for lunch time or for dinner time, like you're eating in a rush because you have something else to do or you're just like in this like tense mood. And it's not about, oh, I did it, oh, I only do it once a day. Yes, that could be the case, or maybe you do it all the time. But it builds up. Once a day becomes seven days a week. Seven days a week becomes 30 days in a month. 30 days in a month becomes 365 days a year. And long and behold, this is years and years of patterning that you're doing this to your body and it will show up. And you're, you will have some imbalances. You will be wondering, why am I sensitive to this? Or why can't I process this? Oh, I don't feel good after this food. And I don't know why. And like, I, my metabolism is slowing down and all these things come from eating consciously so before I go into like a much much more longer conversation I want to say that this is how you create yourself in this category when we talk about conscious eating it is are you just aware of what you're doing and how you're doing it when you're doing it and why you're doing it so if you found this information helpful Please share it with someone. If you think anyone would benefit about learning more about conscious eating and learning more about eating patterns and uh, just like this whole mindset of how this is relevant in the beauty circle and how this ties in into beauty in general, right? Because everyone's curious, like, wait, what does that have to do with beauty? It has everything to do with beauty, but we will get into that in other videos because I'm not gonna give it all away, guys. You gotta stay tuned for that. So if you wanna get more updates, if you want, if you like this content, please hit that subscribe button below. 
I want to say thank you so much for tuning in. And I will leave you off with my favorite, favorite saying, sharing is caring. So you know what to do. Share this episode with someone who you like, love, and care about. Bye, guys. Until next time.